Good evening. Now here's our top story. Former President Bill Clinton had two heart stents put in Thursday after suffering chest pains. Clinton has assured supporters that with these stents in place, he'll have no trouble getting blood flowing to his penis. All right, we got a live show, people. Let's do this. Live Johnny Hill with us Holland. there. Great. We've got Kimberly Brown, Jim Need. Hold on. Remember Jenkins, so there's other stuff. And news from around the world. Tell them what it is, folks. It's Top Story Week. You're so much better at this than I am. Five, four, three, two, go! Iran's government is permanently shutting down the use of Gmail in an effort to boost local technology and economic development. And because Google Buzz is totally lame. <laughs> American car companies hope to see an increase in sales as a result of the bad publicity Toyota faces due to safety problems in most of their models said General Motors CEO Edward Whiteacre Jr. Well, I guarantee you won't have any problems stopping a GM car. <laughs> Most of the time, our cars won't even start. <laughs> <laughs> a US soldier has been charged with assault after allegedly waterboarding his four-year-old daughter for not correctly reciting the alphabet. However, the girl has admitted to being the mastermind behind 9-11. <laughs> American Airlines will begin charging $8 for blankets on domestic flights. Alternatively, they will only be charging $5 for freezing to death. <laughs> True. A group of small business owners from Minnesota purchased a billboard ad with a picture of George W. Bush and the phrase, Miss Me Yet. <laughs> In response, everyone else in America is pulling their money together to buy a billboard that says, no, not really. <laughs> a strip club in Toledo has raised over $1,000 in a fundraiser for victims of the earthquake in Haiti. <laughs> Meanwhile, a strip club in Haiti has raised over $1,000 in a fundraiser for victims of living in Toledo. <laughs> Palestinian protesters painted themselves as Blue Navi from Avatar in response to an Israeli separation barrier. Israeli officials countered that the protest lasted way too long and was just a ripoff of the Pocahontas protest of 1995. <laughs> and here now with the easy to digest entertainment news is our own Pepper Jenkins. <laughs>
Pepper. You're welcome! <laughs> a new study suggests that people who are often bored are more likely to die at an early age. As a result, police have charged the Jay Leno show with murder. <laughs> New research reveals that Botox numbs not only facial muscles, but also emotional responses, which explains why Nicole Kidman hasn't felt an emotion since 2003. <laughs> Italian authorities are upset over McDonald's new McItaly burger, calling the sandwich an inaccurate portrayal of the nation's culture, explained an Italian official. Oh, <laughs> it's not bad enough that a McDonald's has a McItaly. But we had just found out that a Burger King has a sandwich and called it a Whopper. I'm a A new study shows that 68% of New Yorkers regularly hear their neighbors having sex. The other 32% regularly hear their neighbors being murdered. <laughs> A Scottish prosthetics expert was tried Thursday for putting a left leg on a patient who needed the right. Said the doctor. <laughs> As a result of this mistake, they have taken away my left to practice medicine. My, my right to practice medicine. It doesn't make a difference in my left right. I mean, I, I guess that's true what they say, huh? Eh? Two lefts don't make a left right. <laughs> Get those two words confused. A new article in Time magazine suggests that the idea of the midlife crisis is a thing of the past, unless you're John Edwards. Scientists have discovered the first genes linked to stuttering. The scientists were so excited, they could hardly speak. 